Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today, my friends, <laughs> DLC 3 is happening, and it's happening brought to you by laggy loading screens on, uh, on the giant here. Um, boys, I don't know if you're ready for this. I actually don't know if you're ready for this. Imagine that. We need to turn the power on. How original. <laughs> Today, my friends, we are trying out the custom zombie Dragon's Breath. <laughs> I can't get over how weird it looks. The custom zombie Dragon's Breath weapon. Now, if you've never seen this weapon before, um, that doesn't surprise me. I will include links to everybody who, uh, who I have to credit to work on this in the description down below. Roll on, just absolutely killing it as per usual, as well as some other people that I want to credit down below. All their links will be in the description, but, um, yeah, I never thought that this would, uh, this would, this would happen in a game. I figured it, it would be fitting to, uh, to use this as kind of a DLC 3, uh, hype hype weapon and uh and kind of get it get it all worked up it's basically what it is is it's a mod of the flamethrower but obviously you're holding a dragon and there's a jump scare in it <laughs> it comes pre-built with the jump scare which is pretty darn cool so we're gonna see how high of round we can actually get to with this. Uh, I'm a little excited. It's it's super, super powerful. Obviously, it is Dragon's Breath and all. But um, we're going to see how high of a round we can get to because uh, we still have to worry about the, the fact that this thing requires a cooldown. Even if it does kill the zombies super, super quickly, it does require a cooldown. And uh, that's something that we're going to have to uh, have to try to avoid and try to work with. So, I'll see you guys in just a few rounds. All right, so here I am. I thought it was going to go like, you know, maybe one, two, maybe 10, 20 rounds, something like that. We, my friends, are on round 31. I believe what is the round 31. It's been going on for, for quite a while now. And we are literally just tearing through the rounds. I, like... I, I will be so disappointed if the new DLC does not have any sort of dragon breath style weapon. I know that they showed the like kind of power fist and everything like that, but this would literally be the perfect, the perfect DLC three weapon. We got a dog around here. The dog rounds are just the dog rounds are just annoying. They're not difficult. They're not hard. They're just annoying because sometimes the flamethrower doesn't actually like catch fire or the dragon, the dragon thrower, dragon. Don't look at me, man. We got we got work to do here. We got work to do. We've got we've got doggies to kill. Get 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 back. Just just burn down. I although I don't really know what how the fire exactly damages them because they are you know already on fire. They are hellhounds after all. This one's not on fire. Go ahead and put that one. Put that. Hello. <laughs> I think I think I think the gun actually confuses the zombies a little bit because sometimes they'll do this, especially with the dogs. Sometimes I'll just see the dogs walk by. Sometimes they'll come after me like that. All right, there we go. Let's uh, let's get into another round of zombies. But uh, I I don't know I don't know what it is. This gun it looks at you, it comes up and it bites your face. Like literally all the uh, all the crazy stuff that you could have think of. Like look, it's supposed to be like a jump scare. Like the tongue comes towards you and then snatch. There it is. Covers your entire face with it. It's a, it's a little it's a little annoying to play with actually. I think you can cancel it by sprinting. That's how I've been doing it. It's kind of like a little sprint sprint cancel reload. But uh, overall absolutely an amazing amazing mod seriously so much fun to play with and i honestly like after you play a map so much i really don't enjoy playing the giant a whole lot i really don't play uh, enjoy playing doris a whole lot because the map's been out for so long but adding things like this and this is another one of the reasons that uh that i'm excited for mod tools is because adding things like this literally gives the games so much life like i'm having an absolute blast right now on a map that i haven't really like wanted or enjoyed playing in a really really long time just because it's not as stressful you can literally just play for fun you don't have to spin the box over and over you can you can just you can just have what you want and have those mods ready to go so personally i can't wait for black ops 3 mods and i hope that they bring this mod to uh to black ops 3 as well not only just the uh the the last gen version of it the black ops 1 version of it but uh Overall, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, this gameplay. If you have, go ahead. Feel free to leave a like. It's very, very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see some more mods like this, make sure you stay tuned. I've got a couple other mod videos coming out in the next couple days. And, 
yeah, double carpenter to finish out the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.